Alright, how's it going everybody? Been watching heaps of videos in the holidays about uh, people making these uh, battery packs, solar battery packs. And I figured, I've got heaps of batteries lying around that I'm not using. You know what, let's do it. Let's make something, something portable. Um, so my one main feature that I wanted was a pretty small panel. This is pretty swat. I'm um, small. It's about three to four watt. Folds up like a book. It's pretty nice. I got it like six years ago, so it's uh, quite old. Um, I'm gonna have it running into this battery pack that I just built. As you can see, here, I've got the uh, charge controller just stuck to the tape. Got the uh, wires there going. The charge controller. And then uh, the solar panel is actually just connecting through a long lead. It's got an on off switch on the actual um, car charger plug. So I can just plug it straight into here, turn it on, put it out in the sun. Right now it's not getting any sun, but the cord is pretty long, so at least it'll give me quite a bit of distance from the battery pack. And, um, the other thing that I'm doing is also building a um, desulfator for it. So I'm just going to stick it on top here and um, have it plugged into the output. So once it's finished charging, I can turn it on and then the desulfator will turn on, desulfating the battery, running it down slowly, but also give me light. Because what I've done here with the desulfator is um, instead of having a very large um, resistor on it, I'm using LEDs to block a lot of the uh, current into this uh, 2N222. Um, and uh, this is just my little test board to see how much flyback I'm getting. And uh, the reason I wanted to build it this way as well is the fact that if you put, uh, depending on how many LEDs you put on here, will depend on how what kind of voltage this will shut off on so it so happens that one two three four five LEDs will force this whole unit to shut off at around 10.6 volts so that way if I by accident leave it on it won't actually drain my entire battery 10.6 is pretty safe it's a pretty discharged battery but it's quite safe it will the battery will survive that so I'll just show you that now Got my power supply here, which you can't see too well. Let me just turn that on. Nope, can't see it too well. Just to try and get some light into it. There you go. 13.8 volts, so that's a fully charged battery, and it draws about 50 milliamps. There's the sulfator working. You can see the flyback. So we've got about 10 LEDs, so 10 times, say minimum of two, you've got at least 20 volts flying back, so that's going to be plenty to desulfate this. And we've got nice bright light, because I, I want it to be a light, a night light at the same time, so during the night you've got plenty of light from the LEDs while it's desulfating. So these LEDs are just going to the base, protecting the base and everything else. As you can hear, or not here, it's not making much noise, so that's that's good. I didn't want all that uh, ringing there. It's at 1k. Now I can lower it so that it draws as little as uh, 10 milliamps, but I want that light because I want it as night light. So I want it that. So I'll just show you now when coming down in voltage. say 12 volts or 11.7 30 milliamps it's still on it's still giving me my flyback and then when we reach now it's starting to make a bit of noise 10.8 volts 20 milliamps still running still giving me flyback and then once we hit about 10.6 lower 
2.2 it shuts off and it's using no current now so let's just yeah so about 10.6 it barely comes on flyback still there and it's using 10 milliamps so I reckon it's pretty good I could put another LED in but then the flyback won't turn on until about 13 volts and I don't want that I don't I want at least this much um, if I increase the resistance it's a bit higher but um, I reckon this is pretty good so I'm just gonna put it all on this one board connect it up to that and that's gonna be a nice little unit everybody should know how to build these now basically a jewel thief that's got the LEDs on the base and that's it nothing too complicated alright thanks for watching